up Thrive Society, it's Gigi here, here on Gigi's Thrive Guide, and guess what? Today we are going downtown West Palm Beach, also known as Rosemary Square, also known as the Old City Place, okay? I love this space. I actually grew up in West Palm Beach, Florida, fun fact about me, and I just cannot wait to go back and check out how it is. So if you are thinking about coming downtown West Palm Beach, make sure you tune in to this video, continue watching, and let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's do it. All right, guys, so we are already downtown. As you guys can see right here, we have the convention center. Fun fact, I actually had my um, prom there. So here on the left side is the Kravis Center. So this place is known for huge shows, um, big plays such as the Nutcracker, Broadway, you name it. Over here, you have actually a Hilton. It's called Hilton West Palm Beach. It's an amazing hotel. I'll definitely take a tour in there one day for you guys. And then behind there, you have a lot of apartments. And then of course, corporate buildings around us. So going in, we have Ruth's Chris Steakhouse right here. I have yet to try it, but I need to try it because I hear Ruth's Chris has amazing steak, amazing plates, sides, you name it. So as we continue to go, um, there are a lot of apartments over here. I actually had a friend who lived over here and honestly, it was amazing. The fact that she got to stay in our downtown area was lit because she was right next to everything. Then guys, on the left side is actually my high school. I am an alumna of A.W. Dreyfus School of the Arts. They pretty much still have the same building. So that's hilarious to me. But yeah, that's my high school. And this high school is located downtown, which is dope. So even for lunch, we used to literally walk downtown to get lunch, to hang out on half days, just vibe. We would even walk to the beach, guys. We used to walk to the beach. How dope is that? So if you are looking to come live in West Palm Beach, if you have a high school student, or if you simply want to check it out as a student, definitely, I would definitely recommend going to A.W. Dreyfus School of the Arts. Let's go find parking and then I'll start showing you guys pretty much the entire area. So the hard part right now is gonna be finding parking, y'all. It looks like they redid the roads. Okay, valet. <laughs> valet just cut in front of me, that's why he's running. But we are about to park in my favorite parking area, guys. I wanna show y'all. So my parking area that I typically park in is right next to the movie theater. There's a movie theater right there. It's called AMC. It used to be a movie co, so. Yeah, so right here, it's called the Hibiscus Garage. We are about to park in the Hibiscus Garage. And as you guys can see, there's even artwork on the actual garage. So that itself is dope if you're trying to take pictures. So let's see, credit card only. Oh, wow. I have to grab an actual ticket. Please take the parking ticket. Okay, where is, oh, there we go. So I'm gonna put Please it in, in my phone. car so I don't forget. Um, but typically they charge per hour, guys. So if you're looking to come in here, um, definitely take into account how much time you're trying to spend. On Sundays, I believe it is free to park. So I finally parked, guys. Ooh. This bob and this outfit is giving me very much professionalism. It's giving me professional teacher who just got off. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, I just parked. It took me, I'm gonna say about five minutes to find parking. So that's not bad for a Saturday at all a saturday night at that so they do have elevators for those who have parked on higher floors i'm on level three but i'm gonna just take these small little escalators they don't even work but that's all right so i parked on this third floor where uh, there's a lot of bars and restaurants but i'm going to come back and we're gonna just pretty much take a peek at the bottom floor of this downtown area called Rosemary Square. As you guys can see, there is a Yeti store. So if you want those insulated cups, these things definitely work. So this is one of my favorite areas. This is our main entrance with a huge avatar looking tree. Amazing place to take pictures for sure. It's so gorgeous. And then you have the waterfalls right here where kids can come in and play. People can sit down. So it's a water pavilion, no shoes, shirts allowed. They are definitely breaking the rules. <laughs> Before it used to be a stage. So they literally broke the stage down and put a whole waterfall. So as you continue walking near that, 
This is all pretty much greenery, greenery, greenery. Amazing space to take pictures. And they have typically a lot of food areas out here too on certain days, certain events. And today you see there's somebody performing on his own. As we continue to walk, you guys will be able to see a lot of stores out here because honestly they changed so much there used to be so many stores out here and they literally shut them down and i'm pretty sure it's because of the pandemic um you know causing a lot of businesses to go bankrupt and things of that nature there used to be a place called hip-hop tacos out here and they're not here no more um because of the pandemic it was a black owned taco place and it was just it was a vibe it was like a bar place, a brunch place, and it's gone. But hey, that's what happens sometimes. Things happen. So I'm gonna show you guys what's left. <laughs> so let's see what more we discover today. So it looks like, oh, they have a co-working space here. So if you're trying to get like an office for your small business, you can book with them in West Palm Beach, Florida. And then there's also an LA Fitness right here. Um, I actually had friends and family who used to come here sometimes to work out. It's pretty convenient if you live close to downtown West Palm Beach, Florida. And then on top of that, this is one place I used to come out all the time with my friends, my high school friends, Burger Fi. I love Burger Fi. Love. That's all I'm going to say. If you haven't tried it, come try Burger Fi. I'm definitely going to even have a video about that too because Burger Fi is just what it says in the name. Fi. Fire. It took F and I out of fire and said it's fine. <laughs> now this is something I've never seen before, y'all. I might have to go inside. Lucid. It looked like it's like a Tesla. Let's let's see, y'all. Let's discover it. It looked like it's like a car place. I hope they don't kick me. Nah, they won't kick me off. <laughs> let's see. Hello. I'm not sure what this was. I'm just exploring, walking around. Okay, guys, I'm in here in the wild. So this is pretty much a luxury brand car that they have for sale. It's like a Tesla. Oh. oh, and they have this VR headset, but I'm guessing people can't use it because of COVID. But typically you would be able to see what it feels like to drive in the actual car and wow they have gear now this is how you expand a brand and the water bottles at the top so guys that place we just came out of with luxury cars lucid that used to be a mellow mushroom so if, if you're not familiar it's like a pizza place um where people can build their own pizza kind of like blaze but more so it's like a a gourmet pizza shop so i'm guessing that shut down too but this place is dope i hope they don't shut down because not a lot of businesses thrive out here downtown you got to be top tier to thrive in this area uh-oh i need one of those and now as you guys can see there's something called natuzzi italia so this is a furniture store gorgeous gorgeous they're already closed because they said they close at 5 p.m it blends design, function, materials, and colors to create harmonious living. Okay. That furniture is my kind of vibe. Okay, if you've watched enough of my videos, you know I have a high taste. And I gotta get to that high taste. <laughs> now they have this sleeping store with comfy pillows, more space for lease. That is crazy, y'all. A lot of companies, a lot of businesses have not survived out here. You also have Tommy Bahama right here. And I love this space here because it's a perfect area to take super nice pictures. Oh, I have to walk through there. Gorgeous. This right here specifically is the apartment entrance. So if you are looking to have an apartment, lease an apartment, go through those gates. And I love the fact that they put artwork on the walls. Gorgeous. Now it looks like they have a Lululemon as well. For those who are into Lululemon, I'm really not. 
Oh, wow, guys, they actually do have an H&M here. I assume the H&M had shut down as well, but no, it's actually still here. Um, sis is trying to be a model. I know that's right. <laughs> down here, it says they're gonna have a Starbucks coming soon. Okay, so I'm just gonna wait on it. Now we're about to enter one of my favorite places down here. I had birthday dinners here, graduation dinners, and it's known in literally every space. And that place is Cheesecake Factory. Now we are crossing Cheesecake Factory. As you cross, guys, there actually used to be a Macy's right here. They broke it down. I don't know why. Maybe again, it was not doing as well as it should have been doing in sales. And now it's literally just an open space, open for more businesses. So, hey, we'll see in the next few months what it becomes. But right now, it's just grass. So if you have dogs, come out here. <laughs> now, right here, guys, actually used to be a bowling alley. It is dead and it is gone. And I'm not gonna lie, it was actually very expensive. Maybe that has to do with why. <laughs> it was called Revolutions. But literally, I'm shook, like it's no longer here. I used to bowl out here, even though it was expensive for no reason. I used to bowl out here, eat, have fun with friends. I actually had my birthday party here at one point. So, hey, it is what it is. Now, as you guys continue walking, there's actually a Publix right here and they're building a new building. I'm guessing this is going to be another corporation, corporate building for corporate offices. It makes sense as to why there is a Publix here and that Publix has been here for years, even when I was a little girl. Um, and it's only because there are so many people who live in this area, people who live up here and on my side um, and just around West Palm Beach, Florida downtown in general so they want to have somewhere to come and get groceries so it's very convenient especially if you're visiting down here and you're staying downtown and you don't want to go eat at an expensive restaurant you can literally come to Publix get you some groceries go back to your hotel cook your groceries save hella money <laughs> now we are crossing the street as you can see there is a, actually a nail salon a Moe's Pura Vida down there which is pretty much healthy food based out of Miami, but they brought a location here. This is a very nice nail salon. I've never been here, but it looks pretty nice. And then you have Arita's and Jamba Juice if you're looking to get something more on the, the dessert side. Now I love Jamba Juice because I love their acai bowls. And if you have not had an acai bowl before, it's time, it's time. It's literally, puree acai the fruit at the bottom and then a whole bunch of different fruits and granola and honey and it's just amazing it's sweet but it tastes so good so now this is my one of my favorite areas this upstairs area that leads you to the general main area of entertainment okay this is the entertainment side this is where you find the movie theater the bar the club and actually an improv comedy club so this is the improv right here typically they have a whole line of people who just stand up here waiting to get in so if any type of comedian is coming in to do his show B Simone Desi Banks Kevin Hart people will stand out here for hours just to wait Craig Robinson uh oh Lavelle Crawford okay that's dope so this is Copper Blue. I've never been and I probably won't be going. <laughs> Cause it sounds like their music is not my kind of vibe. <laughs> but this is the AMC movie theater right here. You typically would get your tickets from here, but now they have people getting tickets inside um, to go see the movie. And just to give you guys a glimpse, it looks like Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas. It's like a palace style theater and this building has been here for years so it's pretty nice now i love this green wall right here this is another set of stairs on the opposite side of the movie theater people typically come over here not just to leave and walk out but to actually take photos take videos i actually took some of my branding videos for my business over here so super nice area especially when it's not as packed <laughs> now they do have a sephora 
for all your makeup needs. And there's also a sunglass hut if you're looking to get some shades and look cute out here. In addition to that, there is a well-known theater that has been here for literally ages. It's called the Harriet Himmel Theater. There's usually always um, shows out here. My church actually has a campus over here and it's called Christ Fellowship. So they typically have Sunday service from 10 a.m. or 11.45 a.m. So if you're trying to come to church, this is the way on a Sunday. Ooh, I see a Corvette, Corvette. That's nice. But anyway, guys, this is, this is of course valet on this side. That's where they park. This is where they park valet cars. But other than that, right here is a Brio. It's like an Italian style restaurant. And they have really, really, really good food. Now, as y'all can see, we have another waterfall right here. Not as big as the other one where kids were playing in. Now, this spot has to be new. It's a taco place called Bonitas. You can scan here to order, so that's dope. If you are looking to relax and sit down, how those people are sitting down and chilling, you can do so right here in this area. So I love this space because I just sometimes I just like to take a break, sit down and relax, okay? Because there's so much to see. There's so much walking to do in this area. So now this is a restaurant that I have never been to, but it has also been here for a while. It's called the El, Bel El Bellagio. Oh, like the Bellagio Hotel. Now here is another view of our waterfall because we are back in the middle. Now this right here is new as well. It's the Urban Outfitters right here. Let's check it out. Okay, this is a vibe. I don't typically shop here, but it's just so cute to look at. You see the stairs, a lot of vintage looks. Okay, I'm gonna try on one of these shades and it's gonna be this one. I am feeling this, low key, high key. <laughs> and then I love the fact that they have all these varieties of bucket hats. This is really cute. Now this place is also new. It's called Sur La Table or Sur La Table, however you want to say it. And I know people who actually went to the Miami location where they actually did a cooking class. So I definitely have to come back here, do a cooking class and show you guys what the vibes are. Because not only do they host cooking classes, but they actually sell cooking items. Oh, they are clothes, clothes. Okay. So I am back upstairs on the floor where I park to check out what is up here. Because as I told y'all, and as you guys have seen, a lot has changed. A lot. So right here, as y'all can see, they have a bar. Super nice view. Super nice vibe. There is another, oh, this is still Urban Outfitters, but the upstairs side. So there's actually a restaurant called Sato's and it's pretty much hibachi. We're not gonna go down there, there's too many people, COVID-19, <laughs> but it's hibachi and their food is really, really good. Now, can we just take in this breathtaking view right quick? Super nice. Now this is a restaurant called City Cellar and I actually tried their pasta before. It is super good. So I definitely recommend eating here and trying it out. The decor itself is very nice as well. And then along here, there used to be more restaurants, but of course they removed them. So now this spot right here also used to be an amazing bar slash restaurant called Jimmy's Barbecue. But of course it got shut down again because of the pandemic. So ah, it's sad, but now there's a lot of empty space to possibly push your business here or pitch or buy the space yourself. But on the bright side, people also come here to watch the sunset as you guys can see behind me. Ooh, super nice, super beautiful. A little bit romantic if you ask me. <laughs> And not gonna lie guys, the beach is actually 10 minutes away from here. I actually walked from the beach from here because as stated before, my high school was literally not too far away. So it looks like they're building another stairs entrance right here. So where the waterfall and tree is up to the second floor. And then it looks like they're also building a bar split in the middle, another bar where people can grab drinks. So. There's gonna be still more additions to this area. Now guys, that pretty much ends our tour of downtown West Palm Beach slash city place slash 
Rosemary Square is what it's really called at the moment. <laughs> so if you are looking to come down here, definitely send this video to friends, share it on Facebook posts, whatever the case may be, because I'm telling you, downtown West Palm, yes, you might've seen a lot of vacant spaces, but this is still a place to come out and view and relax and eat well and laugh and spend time with family and friends. I do want to thank you guys for tuning into this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, okay? And let me know what more you'd like to see or even what do you think I should implement next time I give you guys a tour of another location in your favorite city. So thank y'all once again. See you next time on Gigi's Thrive Guide.